FYB Monte, man, I got to ask you about this Thunky Man situation and the deleted songs in the page with all those millions and millions of views. What happened in this whole Thunky Man situation? Do y'all homework go splish, bro? Um, agreements on the music, bro. Well, y'all, this is how y'all get residually, bro. Um, basically, shit. So, man, had a hundred percent shelf and all the songs. Uh, Donkey Man, or Mate, ain't get no play, bro. That's really the work to shut down, bro. And it was a lot of money, bro. That's why DJ went to the state he went to, bro. They all heard a lot of zero. That only J May was getting. So J May was whooping us. He was whooping DJ. Yeah, he was whooping Mate. And wow. So. So, J-Man was taking all the money from the page and not giving you guys anything? All the money up, bro. All the money up, bro. So, there wasn't no crimes left. Well, what they all did, I didn't even know crimes, bro. How long did that did that go on? A couple of years. It was adding up. So, 2019 to 2022, when the page got took down. Now, that was 2002. I'm gonna say 20, 23 the pay got took down. So that's four, that's four years. So that's wow. not just accumulated. And he didn't kick y'all nothing? Nah, nah. Not Whoa. Y'all. So, I mean, did uh, did J Man ever address that with y'all? Said me and him addressed our situation like uh, personal on personal note, but I had closed those, but. Uh, him and DZ, okay. him and DZ, uh, I guess, like I said, DZ reached out to the entertainment lawyer and said they broke it down to how much the shit was making there and said, uh, she decided to strike the channel down and said, until he got his money and shit. So that, the, the DJ, or what was that, what, what'd you call him? Uh, thank you, man, DJ Brock. DJ, there you go, uh, DJ Brock. Uh, but we've been hearing him be referred to as Thunky Man Thunky by Jay. Man. Know that. Now, what? Why is that another name of his, or is that just a diss? Ah, because he thought thought the wolf, bro. So that's Thunky Man. He, he thought the wolf. He got that bitch took down. So that's why he became Thunky Man, bro. So is the page down for good now? Yeah, it's down for good, bro. All the songs got pulled off the major platform, so it's like the song go and those was real hits. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. So all those songs, all that material is gone for forever. Wow. So, wow. Yes. So if, do you guys have any backups of any of the videos and things that have been, sh- uh, that have been shot? Yeah, but it's just going to come right back down until like um you get the money. So it's like the straight platform that we got that we use. It's a lot of balances on hold uh, for, for DG. Like whenever they... Out of however his entertainment look out of this shit all and then I guess when it get released he can make decisions if he can go out on major platforms and we could probably re release it in the future, but what's the point? You know, or if it doesn't make some new share. Oh, so he even got a lawyer involved. So you guys can't those songs can't even be on the, the streaming platforms? For sure. And he was the producer, right? He, he was, was the, the producer. Yeah, I'm saying he was doing some bad, a lot of room is bad, ducky, so it was just like those are really like the, all the gaps you were doing a lot that shit and ain't nobody yeah, straight well. songs to take off how they did though and, they, and we just like instant took off so just like shot I guess to him like he like damn like shit let me be not the parts of that shit now anything would, would tell you that you you supposed to get paid something like not paying them anything is kind of crazy right come on man make this shit make sense but <laughs> Good point. So, do you? What's your situation with Thunky Man? Do y'all have any bad blood, or you just understand why he pulled the movie boot? Um, uh, shit, I'm, I'm I'm still blue here. I let me, you know, still before he got the damn thing took down and shit. I could have understood that shit, but you know, shit like, um, uh, do we got bad blood? Nah, I don't got no bad blood. That mob, blue that mob, you know, mob. Let's say mob. How do you call that shit? Uh, my catalog is deleted out the YouTube shit. Yeah, y'all don't know about that shit. Well, who wouldn't be pro out of him and doesn't got for shit? Like, talking about no lit numbers. I have big numbers on that bitch. Yeah, that's, that, that's crazy, man. That's, 
Uh, but I mean, dude wants his bread, man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all can work something out in, in the back end yeah, and get sure. some of that stuff back out there. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. In the future, like I said, like in the future, ain't no rush for it though, right now. We'll be all in this handle this shit first. I damn would figure out when we drop through that shit. But like so I said, for me and Tasha, a little shit for the comic group. Yeah, nah, I see it. I see it. I see it. Now, also, man, I wanted to ask you about another situation with a guy by the name of Flame. And it looks like he was he was dissing, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know if J-Man dissed him first or why he started dissing, but he said something disrespectful about one of your, your deceased homeboys, FYB Trigger. What is the whole situation with Flame? Shit, man, him and Lil Trigger had a situation going on where a gun was confiscated and never gave it back. He bought Lil Trigger ball his blood and never gave it back, basically. Now, ho. Oh, Hold up, because a lot of people are gonna read into that. But Trigger is was known for taking people's guns. Is that correct? For sure. Let's take your pipe. <laughs> so, but that's a that's a dangerous reputation to have, isn't it? Like to be known to take people's guns off them. Basically, so basically, if you feel like you sweet, he you gonna ask to borrow your shit, and you never get in the back. Break this shit down all the way. Nah, I, I, I get, I see what you're getting at there, man. Interesting, man. That's crazy. So that's where the dissing is coming from on his end. Yeah, sir. That's what, a, that's what a problem come in there, shit. But see, everybody was just confused on why the diss got dropped, shit. Two years later, I think he, he dropped happy, shit. I think pipe that took, cause, but Trigger dropped this diss when he was still alive. Told him he wasn't gonna get the pipe there. Bitch, you FYB, you ain't with the gang, and all type of shit, and flame number. Made no diss on the London tier 2024. But he That's said crazy. he made it though, so I don't know. So he made his diss song after everything was, was uh, like after he was deceased, right? Yeah, so it's like it was crazy because he shouted me out, shot out FYB DJ out, and then this trigger. So it was like, I don't know. Yeah, everybody like looked too bloody. Now, to that point, had you ever had any issue with, with, uh, with Flame? Uh, nah, not for real, bro. Because I believe he's the same guy that got into the fight in like Arizona or something, right? With um, with uh, with Jay Hood. He you say he got in the fight with Jay Hood? Yeah, is okay. he the same guy who got into a fight with Jay Hood? Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all at the LA Fitness and something, y'all. So, uh, is 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 he billionaire Black's homeboy or is he y'all homeboy? Is he cool with y'all? Uh. Flame, Flame, one of the guys, like I said, like when I was breaking that shit down, I had my fucking guy, it's different men is, but niggas are all the guys. Flame is like one of the, one of the guys, though, bro. So it's so like, yeah. he just, yeah, like I said, he is, he's GW extortion guy, though. That's Billy Crow. Okay, so he, he's he's really, he hangs out mostly with, with Billionaire, right? For sure. All right, so I only got a couple more questions, but I got to ask you about this. And this is more on the lyrical side of things because we do music. You know, this is music watching, even though some of the drama and stuff like that gets in the way. And I'm not saying that you're you're, you're any type of drama or anything like that, so don't take it as a diss. But I want to ask you about your back and forth a, a few months ago with 600 Breezy about who could go bar for bar with him. You know what I mean? Yes. Now, 600 Breezy put out a post basically saying that, you know, cats can't mess with him. And you responded and said, stop it in the comments. And then he responded to you and said, you can't mess with me in no type of way. Wow. What do you think between you and 600 Breezy, who's the best bar for bar? Bar for bar shit. Monte is fucking him up. I ain't gonna lie to you all the time. Like, I like that Lou Ross song. Yeah, though, that Lou Ross. That, after that shit, I don't know no other Ross shit, bro. Like, all the guys, I got real, like, you can't fuck with me, bro. I ain't gonna lie, 600 Breezy, you can't fuck with me on that. Yeah, I don't work that shit that I like there, but. Now, you definitely, man, have different styles, too. So, and I don't know. I like, I know you guys is, I have an issue, but your pairing with J-Man is, is, is really good, man. I don't, when you guys are making, but I can't wait to hear some of your some of your newer stuff man, that you're about to put out. Can't rap better than me and you, for sure. Don't take care of your kids more than me. Oh, bro, go handle that business with them triplets, bro. Go help oh, the kids, bro. 
Before you worry about rap shit, bro. Go help Queen Key out with the kids. All right, bro. FYB, Monte. Now, you were talking about the whole 600 Breezy situation and how he put that challenge out there. I mean, he really put it out there that, you know, he feels like he's the illest rapper, one of the illest rappers from Chica- in Chicago. Uh-huh. And you you, you feel like you he really can't mess with you on that level. Yeah, it's without it. And nothing. Like I said, no, rap it. Nah, take care of our kids. Nothing, bro. Go help them kids out. Go help out with them kids, bro. Go help point key out with them kids, bro. I'm gas, you garbage. Now, he's gone on record to say that those, I guess it was triplets or something like that, right? Yeah, it's triplets, bro. Got that girl to take care of three of them kids and not help him, bro. You bogus. He's, I thought he went on record and said those weren't his kids. He bapping, bro. He don't need to take care of the other baby. They the way the they the way the sister, bro. Like, come on now, bro. Any study saying you ain't out to take care of responsibility, bro. Stop it. Stop talking to me about rap, bro. And why they been it, bro. I I can't I can't. Yeah, you're right about that. Like, you, definitely, man. You got to take care of your kids, man. You got to be a positive force in their life and support them. But that'd be crazy if those really were because I thought it was. I thought they weren't. Right. I guess we're going to find out on the next episode of Scooby-Doo.